hair still looks blue or am I just like crazy? My hair is just like this weird Kylie Jenner color right now. It literally looks like Kylie's hair. Like her hair is like this honey blonde color right now. That's me. And then it fades into like the hair that I want and I would usually have. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel today. I am giving you guys a I don't really want to call it random But a video because I've been asked so much especially on TikTok about this lovely tanning product right here So we are going to talk about it But I wanted to share with you guys some other tanning products SPF just things that I've been using that I really love for summer and just in general so with that being said, let's jump right in. And by the way, if I seem a little weird, I feel like I have anxiety and I'm also really paranoid again because my friends and I have been talking about the virus. So now I'm getting paranoid that I have the virus every single day, which I probably don't. And I'm just paranoid as f as usual. And like right now I feel like I look like it's really bright in here and it's not and I'm just crazy. It's great. It's a great time. I've also been overwhelming myself with a lot of things going on in the YouTube world so I'm just gonna first thing obviously we're gonna talk about is the Fox Tan Tanning Accelerator. I first heard about this product actually on Instagram. I saw ads for it. I had it saved in my collections for like a product that I wanted to try out. Of course we all know with Instagram and Facebook ads sometimes more than likely nine times out of ten if it's just a random product Product and it's random and they don't have a lot of followers or whatever and it's not you end up ordering it and then somehow it ends up coming from China or somewhere across the world and when they lied to you and said it was made in the US that it's a scam I didn't end up buying it then I actually got this when it came to Ulta I'm getting the small kit because that was really cute and it has all these different products there is the rapid watermelon shimmer elixir and the rapid mist and basically what this product is designed to do is accelerate your tan the amount of time that you tan how the color you normally would be or I should say the amount of time in the sun because it's really not good to just be actively out and tanning but I'm one to talk so there's that but basically this just helps to enhance that so if you ended up being out in the sun for like an hour and you just got a little bit of color and that was it this would help speed that up like times fold I have used this a few times already it's I've used every single one of the products and I can say that the spray version is definitely my favorite and the way that I prefer to use this is that I do put SPF on first and then put this on top of it because this does not have any SPF in it so do not just go in the sun wearing this you're gonna probably a get burned and B that's a higher risk for getting any kind of skin cancer and stuff like that so don't do that I like to put on my sunscreen beforehand which I'll get into in a minute so far the sprays are definitely like a lot easier for me to blend in I could just spray it on top of my sunscreen and blend it in and still have SPF but also like get a little head start on a tan which I feel like I look a little bit tan I mean maybe it's just me and whatever and I have used this product probably about I want to say like three times already not for a long period of time I think it's been about like an hour each um, or maybe a little bit less but I feel like my back like looks really like like I'm getting some color on my back and stuff already and it's only like the middle near the end of June which is awesome especially I think these are great since we are still in quarantine I think I think this is a great product to try to use if you want to just be out in the sun if you go on a walk or if you have a pool and you just want to get like that summer beachy tan without actually going anywhere, I think this is going to be a great way to enhance your tan. And I do actually really like it. The watermelon one smells amazing. Really like it. And it has the nice shimmer, the rapid mist, but it smells pretty good. Honestly, kind of smells like, like coconutty. And then there is the lotion version, which I just don't like using lotion sunscreens. Like I just feel like it takes a long time to get into your skin all over your hands and you can't wipe it off and it's stuck with you all day. And it's just a pain. I don't think I'll be using this that much but the sprays definitely have been really great and better believe I'm probably gonna get the full-size version of the watermelon so these are all the little mini versions I recommend this kit because I feel like it's good to see what you like if you like the sprays or the watermelon or not scented or whatever if you prefer the lotion over the sprays whatever it is and it came in this cute little travel bag so if you do travel when things start opening back up again if you want to travel anywhere this is gonna be great for airports and stuff too so there's that and since I'm only using the watermelon one this is the only one I'm using now so these two will go, just go back and sit and their holes tanning product that I have been using that I really really like is this be tan fake it till you make it one hour self tan mousse I've used this probably like two to three times already and I've never had like a real self tanner I just have to say yes I love my banana boat one that one gets it done for me I do like that one a lot still but 
since we were in quarantine, I was like, you know what? I wanna try something different. And I ended up ordering this. I've seen a lot of things about it on TikTok. Self tan, like self tan, <laughs> Tanning mousses have been around forever and I've just kind of been like, mm, like a little scared of it. Like I'm scared I'm just gonna mess it up completely. And I won't lie, the first time I did apply this, <laughs> I put on way too much and I was really sticky. The thing that I love about this is that if you just have like a day or a few hours or whatever to yourself, you can put this on, wear it for a few hours and then just rinse it off in the shower and you're good to go for a week and you look great unless you want to reapply because I don't judge. I think this is really great because it's not like you're just putting it on then you have to deal with it and try not touch anything or crease or anything and you're just kind of like walking around like a robot just around the house. Like the fact that you can like rinse this off and just have a nice glow, nice bronze look to yourself. You can buy the mitt separate and I ended up getting the mitt which is the I don't want tan on my hands mitt. I really like how it just like says like this kind of stuff. I, don't know. I do like the mitt however I don't think I like the thumb part and I've never used a mitt before because I feel like when I'm putting the tan on like the thumb just kind of like gets in the way like I would rather it all just kind of be the one without it so I could just get the tan into my skin and let it sit that whole thing so maybe that's just me let me know down below what you guys do for like self tanners I mean since now it's summertime and I've been out in the sun a little bit here and there going swimming and stuff like that I probably will just use the accelerator with my SPF and call it good basically I like to use self tanner when it's kind of the start of getting really hot outside so like May I'll start to use it or maybe the end of May until I start to get like a tan like a natural tan going then I'll stop using this for now that's kind of how like I prefer to use my self tanning stuff that's just how I've always been okay and so the next products obviously SPF this is not my favorite but it's just just a sunscreen everyone's obsessed with this ever since Scott Barnes did the video with Tati and was like this is how JLo gets her glow I spray this on her which is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen which is SPF 45 I like to use anywhere from 45 to 50 I used to just be a 30 girl since I've gotten burned so many times wearing 30 within the last few years I'm like eh, we're gonna up it because clearly the Sun is just getting more powerful so there's that do like the application I don't like the smell of this. It smells very florally and just Ugh. I prefer I do not like the scent of this sunscreen at all But I really like the fact that it's full reach design with this like little lever right here So like you could easily like spray your own back and you can spray yourself You don't have to ask anyone to do it for you and be kind of awkward I just saw something fly that better not be getting in here or someone's gonna f mm -mm. We're not about that be life. No 2020. I ain't dealing with that. I've dealt with enough so I guess random update on the bee situation. We had the landlord had somebody come out and they actually caulked the hole around the window because that, obviously that's how we think that all those bees last year were getting in and it was just such a problem. As you guys know from my videos from last year, so if you haven't seen half of them where I freaked out over bees all of a sudden while I'm filming, then you can go watch those. Anyway, what if it's a murder hornet? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Cool, love that for me. <laughs> the next product I wanted to share, I'm gonna keep my hand here because it does still have my name on it for when I used to work at my old job. Kula Sport SP. SPF 50 classic sunscreen. What bunny? Come on. Come on. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. I know. She's trying to lay on me. Bunny, you're going to fall. Oh my God. You're going to fall. You have to stand up. I love you. Okay. I love you. Anyways, the coolest sport SPF 50 sunscreen goobies behind me. <laughs> I know, honey. I'm going to be done soon. I promise. And it is in the white tea scent, which again, not a big fan of floral. It smells very florally. This is just a normal sunscreen, but I have just been using it just as my face sunscreen. I really like that it's organic. It doesn't have a lot of nasty ingredients in it. And Kula, I don't know, just I've always loved the packaging and I've always liked them as a brand for the most part from what I've tried from them with the setting spray. I really do like this as a face sunscreen, as a sunscreen in general. Just <laughs> what I do really <laughs> I know, Bunny, I know. But when I do eventually repurchase this, I'm not gonna be getting this scent, but overall, it's a really good sunscreen. It works very well. It's not greasy, it dries very easily, and it doesn't, like, you know, it's not like the lingering sunscreens when we were a kid and it just stayed on your hands and you're just greased out and you're like, eh, especially after, like, your mom put sunscreen on you and you don't want it. She's like, I have to get your face, and you're just like, eh, like, yeah. Not like that. This is really, really light and I like it a lot. Last couple things I'm going to share with you guys. Just a little mini version because I just recently got this in a in a little Sephora favorites bag. Sol de Janeiro Brasilium. I guess it's called Boom Boom Cream, not Bum Bum Cream. While well, I'm dumb of this. Mm. If you saw my haul on TikTok, if you saw my haul here on the channel, you already know. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I love it. Sol de Janeiro, sponsor me. Like, I love you. Holy crap. But this is one of my 
favorite moisturizers, if not my favorite of all time. It just smells so good, especially after you were out all day in the sun and you shower, and you scrub off all the sunscreen and you just want something. Oh, it just feels so good. I really love this. It's one of my favorite moisturizers of all time. Holy crap. So with that all being said, that is my tanning slash sun care products that I have been obsessed with that I've been using since last summer and this summer and will continue to use because obviously these products are awesome and I'm obsessed with them. We're still in a very weird time right now. I don't even really know what's happening. I know that Connecticut as of now is in phase two of reopening. As I was talking about this with like my friends the last like couple weeks or so. And yes, my friend Nate is here from Maine. Numbers have started to go up again and it's just been really scaring me and I've been very paranoid. And by the time this video is up, David and I probably did decide to go to Musquamacate and just celebrate our anniversary a little bit you girls start to get real nervous <laughs> like I don't like I'm just very nervous with everything reopening now and I wasn't before so I don't know how that's gonna play out with me or with any of you guys please stay safe out there if you are going out to lakes and to beaches and you're gonna be around people please be careful please 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 be careful I'm very nervous as of now because I'm pre-filming this video about going to the beach now about going to a whole nother state. I'm now ner I'm nervous about everything. I'm just nervous. So with that all being said, that's probably why I have so bad, so so much bad anxiety right now. But to any of you guys that are going out and are starting to go about your lives and stuff like that, please be safe. Please be careful. I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notifications so you know when I post a new video. And I need to stop being anxious. So your girl's gonna turn the video off and stop being paranoid that there's a bee in here because now like my my I'm having flashbacks from last year that was not a nice time for me okay anyways <laughs> probably funny for you guys though right but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video